Gaming's Minecraft City Champs. Minecraft City Champs is a national gaming league based on a five week season, a practice week, three weeks of divisional play, and a playoff week known as the Grand Final. Over the course of the tournament, the teams will play in seven different game modes. Zombies, Soccer, Domination, Mayhem, Crystal Crater, Walls, and Workshop. Only the top team from each division will move on to the Grand Final. 16 teams from across the country are ready to represent their city and destroy the competition. I'm your host, Rai Guy Rocky. Get your redstone and diamond swords ready because you're invited to get into the game with Super League Gaming's Minecraft City Champs. Let's take a look at practice week. Los Angeles, California, home to the LA Shockwaves and Monkey Man. The LA Shockwaves have consistently dominated the competition. In 2017, LA returned with a fierce showing, bringing home the championship again. My name's Leo. Your name is uh, Monkey Man 0808. Um, I've been playing the game for about eight years now. We've won the past two seasons, so what's gonna stop us from winning this season? Let's go to New York and meet Trophy Girl in the New York Fury. The New York Fury had a remarkable season in 2017. When they were stopped short in the grand final, they think they have what it takes to take the cup. It was a mess on Team A. We kept getting mad at each other, which like, I myself found very upsetting. My name is Ella. My username is Trophy Girl. Ella's determined that New York is going to take it this year, so we, we hope she's right. I think losing last year was giving her, like, you know, enhanced motivation. <laughs> oh my god! You broke my tent! There's always going to be that one time when everyone's kind of a bit out of it. Apparently, the grand final had to be that time. It's not style! Style does not matter! In Super League Gaming, it's only destruction. It's too embarrassing to lose in our favorite game. We're all going to have our strengths and weaknesses, but in the end, we're going to win. We win. We're going to win. We're going to always win. Yes. Let's go to Dallas and meet last year's MVP, Dermot, and the Dallas Dynamite. My name is Dermot, and my gamer ID is Steelch. I made number one out of everybody. That just made my heart skip a beat. Not in shock, but in happiness. They were gonna send the MVP to go to Los Angeles and see the Kids' Choice Awards. I won. I was the MVP and the best in the nation. The Dallas Dynamite are coming in as serious contenders for this year's championship. Having placed third in last year's competition, they're looking to capitalize on the momentum and make a run towards glory. What I love about my brother, I just love him being him. We just go around trying to annoy each other, make each other laugh. We do everything, I guess. When I'm playing video games with my brother, usually I'm actually the winner. Don't know if I'm gonna win or not. I just wanna try. And finally, let's head to Boston and meet up with our rookie, Scotty, and the Boston Revolt. My name is Scotty. Winning this, would mean that I'm actually really good at Minecraft. We're all gonna like literally try our best and I just keep on, keep on going. I'd say to the opposing teams, watch out, we're pretty good. Each team earns victory points for their city based on their in-game performance. Teams earn 12 points for first place, 11 points for second place, all the way down to one victory point for 12th place. At the end of divisional play, the top teams from each division will move on to the grand final, where they will fight for the title of Super League Gaming's Minecraft City Champs. Let's take a look at practice week and the first time our teams are meeting up this season. Beginning with our two-time returning champs, the Los Angeles Shockwaves and their standout player, Monkey Man. One kill, one death, already getting into the action, playing strong, that's what I like to see. I don't feel sorry at all about, you know, crushing everyone. They need to learn that the LA Shockwaves are a dominant force and will destroy their hopes of ever making it out of the divisions. Trying to maintain dominance. This Los Angeles Shockwave dominance. I'm not carrying my team to victory. I'm leading my team to victory. You have to communicate with everyone. For example, cannoning. If you don't know how to cannon, then you're screwed. Three of us will usually build cannons, and then two of us will be filling the cannons, and then we'll connect the redstone to the actual switch that we need to connect it to, and then we will win the challenge. I think we have like a 99.9% .9 chance of winning. But you know, by the time you blink, we will already have won the tournament and you will have lost and you will be out of the theater. And next week, the competition really begins. Strong words from Monkey Man. Let's jump over to Boston and see how our newcomer Scotty is handling the competition. 
I like City Chance. It's a chance for every person can like help each other know more about Minecraft. I think we're gonna do good. The teamwork is really good. Just imagine somebody doing something by themselves, and then like 10 more people come and do what the other guy is doing. It, it gets the thing done like really fast. Boston, you can always beat. <laughs> yeah! Ah, you noobs, you noobs, you're all just hitting me. No! Come on, you gotta get this guy. No! Woo! 76 points. No, 96 points. Yo, that was crazy. Oh my god, this is gonna work! It's gonna work, Daddy! Yeah! Who's gonna do this? Everyone to burn! Kick it, guys! Punch it, punch it, punch, punch! No! Whoa. Oh, yes! I... Yeah! Let's head on over to Dallas and check in on Dermot. It has to be a team effort. You have to have a good leader and you have to have good teammates. Usually when nobody takes charge, I try and do that. And I try and lead a great team. Try and keep the team together, keep it from falling apart, manage my own self at the same time. Ooh, I have to do that a lot. Teammates, I gotta say, on a scale of one to 10, give them like a five or six. They have to learn to cooperate with me more. Whenever I'm being a team leader or a teammate, last resort is screaming. Let's head on over to New York and check in on Ella and the New York Fury. All of the teams in the Grand Finals last season had been in the Grand Finals before. We were the newcomers. If we make it to the Grand Finals, we're not the newcomers anymore. We know what we're up against in LA. We also know that we came to win and that getting cocky and slacking off is not an option. Leadership to me means making sure that the team is happy and not yelling at each other. Come on, team sick! If one person's doing something different, then it's okay to go over to them and say, hey, we need you on our team. Can you help us out? Do not touch what I'm doing. These people don't understand. It's team work, not self work. If this was not practice day, I would be so mad. No, don't touch my rabbit! No! Stop! I just broke something! What the heck? This dude's messing up my rabbit! Someone on our team is and is really annoying! Stop breaking my cannon! Now I have to build this whole thing again. People keep breaking my target. That's life. You gotta deal with it. So that wraps up practice week where we saw some teams return to dominant form. Some teams get some new prospects and some teams get a hard lesson in humility. Can Monkey Man and the LA Shockwaves continue their dominant performance into the first week of divisional play? Can Ella bring her team together under her passionate leadership and make a championship run? Will Dermot take his MVP winning technique and help the Dallas Dynamite reach the grand final? Will Scotty embrace the competition and gel with his Boston Revolt teammates? All of these questions will be answered next week as our heroes charge headfirst into their first week of divisional play. Coming up on this season of Minecraft City Champs. After practice day is divisional play. Scores count and the stakes are higher than ever. We're obviously gonna win. I die! I think we're gonna win again. I'm going to make sure they stay at the bottom of the leaderboard. Communication is a big problem with our team. Even though your individual score is wonderful and you're an all-star player, it's not gonna cut it. Boston dead! Oh, somebody's getting it! What? Dermot is more about himself. If he's first place and the team gets last place, he's gonna be very happy with himself. Come on, do something. I know your dream is to beat us, but your dreams are being crushed right now. Two, one, let's get dark in here. Love Minecraft? Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss a new episode of Minecraft City Champs right here on Nickelodeon's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.